This is GMAX 1.2 for the beginning modeler, video number 13, part 2 of building the canopy. And our objective of the previous and this video is to construct the canopy. <coughs> um, topic wise, there's two ways to construct the canopy, and uh, last time we started the process using the top circles we developed back in video 8 of stations D and E. You may remember there was a circle on top of a circle that represented the canopy shapes on these two stations. In the last video we actually constructed this uh, canopy shape using those two circles and the end result was if you delete this optimized uh, modifier there was this. And this is just way overkill for the shape that we need here and the only way to reduce it easily is to optimize it. And if you do that you kind of end up with a messy look and we can we could make this work but it's going to take some work to clean up the mesh and uh, so going forward you're going to have nice smooth sides up and down every one of these lines so I wanted to talk about doing the same thing using cylinders because although using splines and uh, is uh, fantastic for creating oddball shapes where standard primitives don't work it can sometimes be more work than it's worth where a standard primitive like a circle or a box or whatever would do just as well or better and I'm think I'm going to be able to demonstrate to you using a cylinder that uh, we can get much better results at a lower poly count even lower than this I believe yeah lower than this so let's delete this and we could delete this all together and I could just create a cylinder and size it up whatever but to save time we actually already have cylinders here and uh, what we're going to do is just pick the one that I want here and uh, let's switch to poly and let me just select this uh, cross section of polys here and select invert because those are hard to grab I didn't mean to do that I meant to select invert and delete the delete all those cross sections and we end up with uh, what is just about a cylinder and if we add some in polys here by selecting border and selecting the edge there that's the border of a cylinder that doesn't have a face or a poly and uh, come back up here to cap so we'll add that in slide around the other side and select the border and select cap there now we have a cylinder so now that we have a cylinder we can build a canopy shape using it so let's do that let's um, just go ahead and select select this cylinder go back to the left viewport and we're going to extrude to, uh, forward to the left in this case if I can get my mouse on this and we're going to resize these later but we're going to all right now we're going to select the other side go left and hit the E key to zoom and then we're just going to I lost my extrude uh, alright we're going to push this out to that last flat part of this canopy right there and then we're going to just start creating uh, some cross sections to represent the rest of the shape and you know you have to uh, place these as appropriate to as the curver curvature gets stronger you need them more often but as they're fairly straight we're going to stay off of that this is a feature cut right here in the fuselage to make make a hole for the uh, for the exhaust that comes out there if I could just get on there all right 
now we have back to kind of where we were with the other one <coughs> we have kind of a gross shape here with cross sections where we want them and now we can go through the process of scaling these to meet the shape of the canopy so let's uh, start the process and see if we can do this rather quickly we'll, we'll be a little imprecise just as a matter of speed here and we can only do one cross section at a time because some of these real small adjustments are hard to do without going to uh, use the feature the right click feature on the on the icon to kind of dial them in at very minor increments so to show you generally the process here and you can get in close and fine-tune these as you wish but it doesn't take long as you can see doing a good job here so we're going to leave this relatively flat because in real life this edge is above the fuselage so we're going to leave it like that so there you have a fuselage shape that looks just as good as the other one we had. Let's see how many polys we have here. We select all the polys and get a poly count. 266. Remember the, the other one was like 380 something. All right, while we're down here, we may as well smooth all these polys we created with an auto smooth. And there you go. You have a shape that you can be proud of. <laughs> It's nice and smooth, it's round, it's going to make a good looking canopy. Now, that we have this uh, in place, <coughs> the next step will be, how. To, or the next thing we start to think about is how to move forward to creating the windscreen. Uh, you know, obviously it's going to be a separate part, but that's a process in itself and we're going to address that separately in videos because it's probably going to take two to two or three to do it uh, these are these are more complex and very hard to do uh, working between the side view and the top view and uh, there's a lot of uh, multifaceted curves in here curving down curving around curving around the fuselage this way so I'm going to show you some easy ways to get that done it's something that every modeler struggles with not that it's complicated so much as it is just difficult to get it right and you'll see what I mean when we get there so we're going to focus on continuing this uh, once you have this shape as you see here uh, from the side view it looks beautiful let's go to the top view and see what we've got now you notice we got the top shaped the way we want but look at the sides we've drawn it in well it's not a big not a big deal actually Let's select that and then for contrast reasons you might look up to customize and viewport configuration and change the lighting that may or may not help let's see here I don't see where that's well, I can work with that I suppose so let's zoom in here <coughs> And what we need to do now is expand these sides without affecting the top profile, the side profile. Uh, and we do that with uh, a non-uniform scale. This allows us, well, I can't do it at this level, because I just fixing to say, this allows us to adjust these scales of these vertices on one axis only, which will be the x-axis is what we're going to use basically we're going to fatten up this area without affecting the height so that's uh, and actually because some of these are close the initial ones are close we're going to use the uh, this tool to allow us to expand on the x-axis and we're going to click the up button the up button up arrow we should say we're just going to push that out a little bit you might notice if you look closely that the uh, even though the aircraft uh, the fuse 
the, the aircraft model, this model part is center line uh, to the GMAX universe. This drawing is just slightly off, and it's because it's not exactly vertical. It's off by I don't know, half a degree or less, maybe a quarter of a degree. So you, you just have to pick one side and match up to it. So once we have that out where we think we want it, then we just come down to the and start scaling up the rest of those, scaling them on the x-axis. All right, and then we deselect that by holding down the Alt key and selecting. We'll continue to scale here. I'm using the left line to to match up with here. Okay. Then I hold down the Alt key and deselect that series. And this is far enough I can get a head start on it. So yeah, it looks good. Deselect this video these vertices. And look at there. Now we have the horizontals looking good everywhere. These are good enough. They're lined up with the left. So let's go back to the left viewport. Now everything looks good here all the way back. Back to the top. It all looks good there. So now we have the shape we want. Let's see how much time we got here. Uh, we're in 11 minutes. So I got about six or seven, maybe eight minutes to go, depending on things. All right, with that done, remember I said we wanted to maintain. Let me change the lighting here. It's a little hard to see. Let's go back to two lights. Yeah. Remember I said I wanted to maintain the center vertical, uh, horizontal line to keep our mesh clean as we go through this. And we need to keep the one be beneath it because that's the one that makes uh, goes into the fuselage, if you will, and later we're going to boolean this and do an exact fuselage cut all the way back so so that the canopy matches up perfectly with the fuselage. But in the meantime, we can get rid of all the stuff down to the bottom. So we just select and hit the delete key is the way we do that. All right, so now we got to check the right, make sure I didn't accidentally get rid of anything. Check the front. Notice that our shape matches up very well with the fuselage. This is the back end, the far end. Now, you notice these protrude into the fuselage. Well, that's what we want because we're going to be allowing, using the fuselage as a cutting tool to cut the uh, canopy bottom so it fits precisely with the canopy. So uh, one thing we will want to do is uh, actually we're going to want to move this bottom bottom row out a little bit because they should be vertical down at this level. So we're on the right tool here. There we go. We want it to flow smoothly right down into the fuselage. So that's what we've got now. Make sure we selected all the right vertices here. Yep. So we're good. Now um, we'll bring the fuselage back. Uh, fuselage. And if we uh, select that fuselage and just take off the see through. And go back to your left viewport and zoom in here. You'll see that the canopy comes down over the sides. Let me get a better look at it this way. Yeah. Canopy comes down over the sides, goes into the fuselage. And the next step will be to use the fuselage as a cutting tool to, uh, to uh, give us a precise uh, fit. So we can actually do that right now. I think I have the time to do that. Let's see. Uh, I've got enough megabytes and I've got enough time. So let's just, let's just try it. We can always back it off if it doesn't work. So what we want to do is do a boolean for this using the fuselage as a cutting tool. So let's see what we can do here. Compound objects, we want to do a boolean. 
we want to do a reference we want to do a cut and we're going to pick up ran B which will be the fuselage and you can see the cut line around here hopefully that goes down this side as well yes it does okay so let's uh, hide everything except hide unselected and there we have now if you look at convert the boolean back to editable, editable poly and select polygons and if I had done that in the right sequence it would have it would have uh, highlighted all these polygons we just cut it's alright we can do it this way if I had yeah so that was the fuselage cut right there so if we deleted those off which we can do then we would have the precise fitting canopy let's just uh, watch my time here I don't want to blow this 16 minutes and I'm getting close and let's go back and unhide the fuselage there we go. We got a precise fitting canopy. All right. Next part, we'll uh, come in and cut the windows and, and improve on this before we move on. So check you back next video. Any comments or suggestions appreciated. Uh, hope this uh, helps you out a bunch. Have a good day.